Yeah. And, and Matthias says, do you guys agree that linebackers are the weakest position on our team? Such a great comment for this segue we're about to do here as we get into our positional rankings that we're going to jump into right now. And our list go to 11. Why? Because it takes more. That's why <laughs> we said cornerback duos last week. But as we, we the week went on and we dove into this, it became very apparent that that third corner is the deal breaker that puts your whole room over the line. OK. Um, a, a lot of teams have great frontline starter corner, but they don't have depth behind them. So it didn't seem fair to be able to put that a representative for that team on a list right. when there are three corners on the field at all times. So you've got your outside corner, your inside corner, and your nickel corner. Your two, your X and your Y, your right and left corners, and your nickel corners. Yep. There's three that start every time, and that's what we rated this room on top 11 in the nfc now 16 teams in the nfc of course so that means five teams got to swim with swim with the fishes they got to get whacked our buddy pete the unaliver because he makes you the opposite of alive <laughs> well pete if you don't know if you don't know the rules you did just sum that up right there and uh what pete does is he would whack the entire room you don't have to worry about that room we won't talk about that room we just want to glaze over these guys so that you know and and sometimes it's hard and that's why we say hey pete we want you to come in here and do the hard job for us because sometimes we like these guys and and and, and pete you know, he took care of that thing. He, he comes in and, and and makes it happen. So we're going to start out with a whole team has been sleeping with the fishes for a whole bunch of times right here. And we're going to go with the Washington Commanders. <laughs> took care of that thing for you. <laughs> I, took, I took care of that dig for you. Yeah, the best corner they got on their team is uh, Emmanuel Forbes, who was a rookie last year, and he took his lumps. He did show some promise. He's a great athlete. But other than that, then a bunch of no-name guys, I didn't even write, bother writing their name. I'm like, who? No, there's us. Mm -hmm. okay. PFF, we looked him up way down. These guys didn't even hardly get enough snaps. They are running a skeleton crew over there in that secondary in Washington, and that gets the room whacked. Took care of that thing for you. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Oh, man. Who's so, next? Who's next to get whacked? The, some of these people, they just keep on showing up. They're like they're like the repeat offenders right here. And here's uh, another repeat offender right here from the same division. We have one of the, the New York G-Men. The yep. G-Men. The G stands for gone because they are gone again. The, this Kevin team has been fun. whacked on almost every positional ranking that we've done so far um this team's in trouble they gave 40 some million a year to daniel jones and he's got no help there so it's gonna be uh the, the, he's gonna be the fall guy there so who's the next team to get whacked after the giants in washington so that's that's half of the nfc east right there well well let's go into um another familiar face right here is these uh arizona cardinals the very very young team <laughs> Now, took care of that thing for you. And that's one that actually hurt me a little bit because when you're looking at it, you you know that their general manager is trying to do things the right way over there. They drafted a whole bunch of secondary guys. They got a whole bunch of good young talent that's going to start this year. But I mean, I can't put you in the top 11 second or cornerback rooms when your starting cornerback may be Max Melt out of Rutgers. Yeah, well, Max Melton's a heck of a football player, actually. He's a good... That's great. He'd be, he's going to be a great depth piece, or he's, he's a great second-line starter, but they also have Sean Murphy Bunting over there. Neither of those guys, though, are enough to lift this room, elevate this room into the top 11 cornerback rooms in the NFC. Now, when anytime you do doing research or you do one of these kind of things, you got to have a baseline, right? you got to have somewhere to start. And we used uh, Mike Clay from ESPN Analyst, uh, and he did a cornerback room ranking of the entire league. So we had to pluck out the NFC teams from that list and then kind of assess them all on our own and, and put our own spin on it and what we thought on it. But um, I can tell you that my list deviated quite a bit from uh, Mike Clay. But one place that it didn't deviate was the Arizona Cardinals. He had them at number 31 
ranked in the league, and he had the New York Giants at number 32. So it was pretty obvious for the villain squad here to line up there with Mike Clay on the teams that would get whacked. And the next team to get whacked might surprise you. It is the Atlanta Falcons. They do have a darn good corner in A.J. Terrell. In fact, if you were to do a top 11, just, just a corner. Oh, thank you, Pete. Thank you. Did you take care of that thing I told you? Take care of that thing for you. Uh, all right, then. A.J. Terrell, though, one, probably one of the top 10 corners in the NFC by himself, but he has no help in the room. His starting left corner next to him is Mike Hughes, who was cast off from the Lions because he got cooked so much. Um, so Atlanta Falcons. Got a decent defense, but they are hurting, and everyone knows it, in the secondaries where they're hurting the most, Russ. Could you imagine Mike Hughes being your starting corner? Wait wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we can. Take care of that thing, Okay, now here's the most painful one right here just because of what what, what, what had happened. Like, how do you want to handle this, Mike? You seem to have a lot more grace and uh, elegance than me. I've been called a lot of things, but that's not any of those. But is that a first time you've never been called? Let, you know what? Let's just rip the Band-Aid right off. The last team to get whacked is the Minnesota Vikings. Their nickel corners, Josh Metellus, one of the best. He's excellent. Play on my team any day. That guy is a gamer, a dog. But Byron Murphy, he's not a frontline starter. He's not. He's, he wasn't in Arizona, and he wasn't last year for the Vikings. He's, he's a good player. He's a Jerry Jacobs-type player, Byron Murphy. He's not that good. He's overpaid. Quezzy overpaid him, and you saw that last year. That's not my opinion. That's PFF grading. And then they've also got Shaq Griffin, another solid corner. So they have one really good and two solid. Is good, except that Josh Metellus is on the back end of that really good. He's not one of these top guys really good. Uh, it was tough to uh, cut this room. It was Mike Clay from ESPN had them 25th in the league. So uh, for us to, they, they were on the fringe of making this list. Josh Metellus, a heck of a ball player, go blue. What do you think about that, Minnesota? You know, uh, I've done a lot of bad talking about Minnesota. <laughs> yes, and, you have. And if you want to, and if you want to see some of my thoughts on Minnesota, all you got to do is go back and look at one of the replays. I don't think this is a time or play for me to lay into that uh, the horrible job that Quezzy's doing over there with overpaying people and putting putting them in a bad bad position and their quarterback situation. We won't go there, but we're done whacking teams the teams are uh, are, are done that was the last one yeah matthias says looks sounds like they got three solid cbs and that's a stretch and it's a stretch to say three solid right absolutely all right moving on so that's it that's the teams that got whacked minnesota arizona atlanta new york and washington time now for our top 11 cornerback rooms in the nfc brought to you by the villain squad network right here on the main event football show be sure to follow our page it's lions villain squad on facebook and it's at villain squad on our youtube channel